Hi, Jeremy Nagel here with a video about creating related lists. These seem to be a little bit complicated within Zoho CRM. You've got this button here, add related list. But to do it using this method, you have to either write a custom function or use a custom app, which is a creator app, or use one of the default related lists. None of them are particularly easy to do if you want to set up a new related list. The simplest way is actually not to click on this button, but rather to go to Setup, Customization Modules, and to link your module with another one. For example, I've, I'll have i create a new custom module just for the hell of it. I'll call it Test. And then what I'm going to do, if I want to link this custom module to leads, I simply add a lookup. And save it. And then what I can do, I can go to my newly created custom module. I can create a new test. I can choose the lead that I want to link it to. And I will find now that if I go to this lead, it will have a related list down the bottom. You can see here related tests. That's the new related list that I created simply by adding that lookup. And if I make a new test, link it to the same lead, then I will find that there are now two related tests. So there you have it. Basically, to link two modules together, you just need to add a lookup. Keep in mind that it's basically, we're talking about a one-to-many relationship. So we've got one lead with many tests. Therefore, you add the lookup to the test, the custom module, rather than to the lead. Whereas if you want to do for example, that the custom module is a campaign and you can have many leads associated with that campaign, then you would add the lookup to the leads module and that lookup would be pointing to the campaign. So just remember, one to many means that the module that will have many records gets the lookup back to the module that has one record.